Whoosh mobbing with it. Y'all know what time it is. Another day that the Lord has blessed us. An opportunity at life, man. Captivate moments, build memories, and be very intentional in the way that you are serving the Father. Hallelujah. Let's get it in today, man. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 11. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the devil's schemes. Hallelujah. You know what time it is, man. I love this, man. Putting on the whole armor of God. That's a key word, the whole armor, man. We cannot go to battle leaving pieces of armor or even leaving our sword, you know what I'm saying, before we jump out there on the battlefield because then we leave ourselves vulnerable. But before I get into all of that, man, let's break down what the armor of God is is uh helmet of salvation breastplate of righteousness belt of truth sword of the spirit shield of faith feet of peace i'm a b100 i had to write it down because i got a lot of points i want to touch on and every time i kept trying to recite it man i was man my memory going man pray for my memory man y'all know what time it is um but the full armor of god understanding and what it means um and truly understanding what God has given us when it comes to enlisting us into the army and being warriors. See, God has given us strategic plans to execute when we go to war. And understanding going to war and what it means as a soldier and what we should be doing in the meantime. See, there's preparation before you go to war, you know, you, you there's preparation before any battle. And one of the biggest things that I think that we fail to do when we just jump out there on the battlefield, any great soldier, any great warrior uh, studies its adversary, studies the mannerisms, the character, his strategic planning, the way that he moves on the battlefield, all of them things. They come into play during our preparation. So we need to be doing the same when it comes to our adversary. We know that he seeks to kill and destroy. He doesn't seek to just hurt us and, you know, allow us to be hurt and come back and hurt us again and wound us, this and that. No, he seeks to kill us, to kill us and destroy us, to assassinate us and to execute us. Um, so we need to be very mindful of that when we are preparing to go to war against our adversary and understanding that we do not wrestle against flesh and blood. So we do not war against the flesh and the blood. Our armor and what we've been gifted in for the, you know, for the battle and going into war, that armor is spiritual. So we need to understand in what God has given us and the strategic planning he's given us and even the blueprint he's given us in the way that we should, in the way that we should structure, uh, you know, our army and the way that we should go out, you know what I'm saying, or whatever it may be when it, when it when it comes to us touching the battlefield. And understanding there's a key word that we need to understand in what this scripture talks about in this passage, putting on the whole armor. We cannot leave a shield. We can't leave our helmet. We can't leave our boots, you know what I'm saying? Um, there's, there's specific things that the armor speaks on that we should be placing on, that we should have placed on. And by doing so and placing it on, that there's nothing vulnerable. So we are not vulnerable. And when we go to war, if you think about what an armor is, armor in the definition of it is metal coverings that soldiers or warriors have been given before they go to battle. So God has given us what we need as far as before we get out there and go to battle and what we have to understand in the severity of the war that we are in, it is nonstop. It is every day is when we go to sleep, when we wake up. So we need to be making sure that we are preparing properly and correctly and executing the strategies that God has given us. And let us not stray away from that. See, when we begin to stray away from that, we begin to make ourselves vulnerable. And we need to understand that the war that we are in, not only have we made ourselves vulnerable, but the brothers and sisters that we are fighting against now have to help us tend to our fight. Now, praise Christ for the faithful army that we have been enlisted to and been gifted to be a part of. Because at the end of the day, you know, what I'm saying we have our brothers praying for us. We know that they're fighting beside us for the sake of if we do out of arrogance or even out of ignorance or even out of just 
having a bad day, we begin to leave ourselves vulnerable. We don't put on our the full armor. You know what I'm saying? Praise God that we have other fellow warriors in Christ that are willing to help us fight this battle. And praise God that he made it in such a way to where we have that. But let us be mindful, man, that they are tending to their own battle and their own fight as well. And when they have to take the focus off of all of their fight and, and put the focus on what we have going on, we have did a disservice to the army, to the body of Christ. We have a purpose to serve. We have a purpose to make sure that we are upholding our position that we have been given in, in, in this in this army, in this specific war that we fight. So let us just be mindful of that, man. And I wanted to touch on that and understanding that at the end of the day, let us not get beside ourselves and think that we can just hit the battlefield just lackadaisical, you know what I'm saying, not really properly preparing, you know what I'm saying, for these battles and, and, and to go to war because it's every day. And we need to make sure that we are consecrating ourselves in prayer every day, that we are examining ourselves to make sure that we are placed on the full armor and making sure that we execute the strategy that God has placed before us within the scriptures and how to fight this war. Let us not go out here and begin to get beside ourselves and arrogantly act like we have a better method or, you know, our strategy can work better and all of these things, because that's when we begin to become a casualty. We become vulnerable on that on that battlefield. And by default, when we are not sticking to the strategic plan nine times out of ten, when it comes to in the world. More than likely, whatever army is out there trying to fight is going to be defeated. Now, praise God that in the opportunity that our war is a constant battle and the, and the armor that we have been given is spiritual. So we understand that we do not war against flesh and blood. We war against principalities and spiritual powers. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to the enemy and his devices, his schemes, you know what I'm saying? And all of that. But at the end of the day, if we become a true warrior, then we will be preparing it before we just jump out here on this battlefield and studying our adversary, his moves and all of these things. So that at the end of the day, we can begin to see these attacks coming. We begin, we can see them. If you look closely through your spiritual lens and the Holy Spirit gives you that discernment, you can begin to see things as they're forming in the way that the enemy will begin to attack you. Whether it's your finances, whether it's your health, whether it's your family members, whether it's you know, close friends, whatever it is, you will see within your vicinity and when it, and within your dwelling in the realm that you are in, you know what I'm saying? You will begin to see the attacks form. You'll begin to see the chess pieces move across the board in a manner to where you see you're being set up in an area that is going to cause you to be vulnerable and may cause you even to compromise. And that's truly what the enemy's focus is on, is us not just falling, but us compromising. Us putting ourselves in a in a circumstance that may ruin our wisdom, uh, ruin our witness when it comes to professing the gospel and preaching the gospel to an individual, a non-believer. So let us be very mindful of that. He has a bunch of tricks, schemes. He's very cunning. But at the end of the day, we are fighting from victory. See, the enemy only has authority that he's been given. So it's not true authority. So let us be mindful of that. Hallelujah. Love y'all, man. So appreciate all of the support. Um, I, I'm going to continue to put these out, man. I'm thankful that the Lord is, uh, you know, utilizing me in this area. Um, it's a blessing. I don't take this lightly. You know what I'm saying? Um, even this platform, whatever it may be, man, I want to make sure that I'm very intentional in what I'm doing for the Father. Hallelujah, man. Y'all have a blessed day in Jesus' name. Make sure you examine yourselves today. That is the challenge for today. Examine yourselves. Make sure that you are putting on the full armor of God. Study your adversary and the strategic planning of doing so will give you an upper hand when you begin to execute out there on that battlefield. Hallelujah, man. Let's get it in. Lace them boots. Let's get out here for the kingdom. In Jesus name, man, y'all have a blessed day.